Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support. I really can't believe we are at almost 26,000 subscribers as we speak. Like, this is just mind blowing. Thank you so much if you're one of those that keep coming back for more videos. Now, if it's your first time here, I'm Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, including lots of DIYs to help us grow strong, healthy, and long natural hair. So consider subscribing to join the family. So in today's video, guys, I will be trying the famous Amla powder. Lots of you guys suggested that I try this for my grace. Um, in a video that I made ages ago, I think it was the leaving aloe vera leaving conditioner video i will see if i can link it somewhere up here for you guys that video has quite a lot of comments i think it was over a thousand comments and most of those comments were like try amla powder for your grace try amla powder so yes we are actually doing it in today's video guys i bought amla powder ages ago but i never got around to using it i guess perhaps because it was just one of those things that i bought and i forgot in my cupboard i'm just going to be completely honest the other day i was doing a clear out and i came across it again i was like oh crap i have actually got this and i'm never tried it so that's what we're doing here i'm going to try it and basically let you know what i think of it so if you're interested be sure to stick around and watch till the end of the video guys i also did a bit of research on amla powder and what i found was actually amazing stuff for hair and i was like this seems to be something that's definitely good i'm not really trying it so much for the greys because i really don't mind them to be honest um but i just want to see what it feels like on the hair um so yeah i'm just going to be showing you guys basically how i do it so to start off with i'm making aloe vera juice now if you've been working with me from the beginning you already know how to do this so you can skip this part um but if you're new here it's very nice and simple you just need to get the flesh of the aloe vera out and then blend it now the longer you blend this the more liquid you will end up with um what i mean is you know how sometimes you have like aloe vera and it's like a gel like consistency like a um, slimy consistency so if you blend it for long enough it will be more liquid so you will lose that sliminess or perhaps you won't get as much of it so that's the kind of consistency i'm going for here so i'm going to blend it for a little bit longer and after we've done that guys we're going to go ahead and strain it now the reason why you want to strain this is so you can get rid of the aloe vera pulp uh, which can otherwise get stuck in your hair and you're not really gonna like it so i'm using a sieve to do this but you can use a tea towel a stocking cap like anything that you've got now because i'm using a sieve here i'm just gonna let this you know just drain naturally and in the meantime i am going to work with the powder so this is what the powder looks like guys i got this from amazon i will link it in my description box if perhaps you want to get your hands on them as well um so you can see it's still nice and fresh from the package in which it come it, it came in um so that's basically what it looks like organic amla powder now the research that i did about amla was just amazing in general for hair growth um it does suggest that it does help promote healthy hair growth it improves blood circulation around the scalp area which is actually a very good thing especially if you are trying to uh, increase hair growth it removes down draft it strengthens hair it controls hair loss or hair fall and yeah just really great stuff as a whole and when i saw this i was like oh yeah this is definitely great so <laughs> i guess if i put this on my hair i will be getting some benefits so yeah i was really excited to give this a go now to do that guys i added about i think it was about five tablespoons of the amla powder to a bowl now this one that i'm using that's the thing because i've never used this before i just didn't know what to expect now this container that i used to you know mix the amlo in was too small just like you will find out later in the video but that's basically how you know you that's how inexperienced i am with this because i just thought it's gonna fit in it you get what i mean but it didn't because the more you add stuff to it the thicker it gets and if you want it to be like a runny to have like a runny consistency which is what i was going for to make it easier to apply to my hair then you have to apply quite a lot of liquid um so this bowl just ended up being too small anyways so i started off just adding some 
oil I'm using olive oil here you guys know how much I love olive oil and then I went into uh, put in my aloe vera juice now that's the thing I underestimated how much this powder can actually soak up water or liquid my I initial plan was that I was just going to use just aloe vera juice to make this uh, amla powder but then I then realized that it was getting thicker and thicker every time I was blend um, sort of mixing it with the liquid so my aloe vera juice was just way too small for this so next time I do it I know now that I need to use quite a lot of aloe vera just so I can get enough juice to get the consistency that I want so to go for the consistency that I wanted guys I had to top it up with water because I just didn't have time to go back and have to make aloe vera juice again so I just worked with what I had and also um, the oil so this is basically the consistency that I ended up with and that I was happy with um, so I'm now showing you guys how I apply this to my hair now I do apologize about the this footage it was recorded you know at night time and yeah i'm sorry that you know the quality is probably not as good as what you usually get um but i guess you can still see what i'm doing so i'm starting on pretty much dry uh dry hair um so i'm just sort of undoing it here and then i'm going to part it into you know smaller sections i think each side into like three sections just because i didn't have too much time to spend on it on it i just wanted to like just put it on and then go to sleep so i put it into like three big sections to make it quicker for me to apply this to so that's the section i'm going to be working with guys and that's basically what the amla powder looks like I was just smelling it here just because I was just curious to see what it smells like because when I was making it no smell was coming off and yeah it doesn't smell bad at all it smells a bit earthy um, but I guess that's just normal anyways I didn't really mind the smell as a whole so I'm now ready to go ahead and apply this guys so I'm just applying it to my hair here making sure that every single strand of my hair was covered and I'm also going to apply it to my ends now my first feel of it was a little bit <laughs> different from the kind of treatments that I usually do to my hair it felt a bit drier um, I don't know if that's normally how it's supposed to feel like let me know in the comment section below if that's normally how it feels every time you apply this to your hair it just felt very dry you know how you know when you do like um, let's say like a deep conditioning mask or you apply even conditioner to your hair or anything like that you know your hair has slip and you can easily run your fingers through it on um, to help detangle I just couldn't do that with this because it was just I don't know how to, to describe it it just felt like I was putting mud in my hair and you can imagine if you put mud in your hair it's not going to be really easy to um, get your fingers through um, to you know to detangle or to remove any knots or anything like that so anytime I would do this if I encountered a knot or a tangle, I would just leave it alone because I just figured if I'll try to get rid of that, I'll probably just end up breaking my hair anyway. So that's the kind of feel that I had every time that I applied this to my hair. Um, and I was like, you know what? I don't know. I don't know how this is going to feel. This is what it's going to look like in the morning. Um, I just decided to just go ahead and do it for the rest of my hair. Now, I wasn't quite sure if I needed to apply this to my scalp or if I just needed to just focus on the hair itself. Um, in some places, I applied it on my scalp and then in other places, I just applied, you know, on the hair. Um, so, I don't know. Let me guys know what you think. Now, having used this this time, um i think perhaps next time i am going to apply it to my scalp um but make sure that i really really rinse it out properly the part that i applied it to my scalp i just felt like when i rinsed it out there was still some stuff left on my on my scalp that i didn't really like um maybe it's just because i didn't rinse it properly but hey so i'm just sort of continuing this guys applying it to the rest of my hair you know including my ends and yeah basically every every single area and then i'm gonna go ahead and twist it and then you know roll it on itself um just to you know prevent it from drying out Now 
Now the other thing that I noticed as well when applying this is that it can get a little bit messy and it can get in your eyes as well. You know, I don't even know how to describe this. Like anytime that I would part my hair, um, some of the amulet powder that got into that section of my hair would just kind of like, you know, splash around and some of it actually got in my eye. But it wasn't actually um, bad at all. But it's just that it's just a different feel. Do you get what I mean? Like it's a different feel altogether from the regular type of treatment that I do to my hair. But I didn't really mind it in the end. Um, so, yeah, so that's pretty much it you know that's me having finished applying this to my hair guys and like i said i completely underestimated how much you know water this thing can take and i thought when i finished making it that i had made too much but i actually didn't i just made the exact amount and i actually used everything for my hair uh which was actually really good so that's me completely done here i am now going to put a plastic cap on and then uh, go to sleep and then in the morning I'll show you guys what my hair looks like okay guys so I finished applying this to my hair I'm sorry if the sound is a little bit weird I haven't plugged in my microphone um, but yeah you know I'm really intrigued to see what my hair feels like in the morning because right now I'm not really convinced with you know how my hair is feeling um yeah it just feels like you know i've got sand in my hair if that makes sense so it just feels a bit weird um but let's wait and see what this does to my hair in the morning um i hope that it is good i hope i hope i hope that this is good so yeah i'm gonna go now and see you guys and i'll catch you in the morning catch you in the morning Okay guys, so this is the next day and I would say I pretty much slept well to be honest. Um, I didn't get any leakage or anything like that. Unlike perhaps if you put aloe vera to your hair and you know, aloe vera usually leaks. But this did not leak at all. It was pretty nice and dry throughout the night. Um, obviously I just didn't have the plastic bag on. I also had a scarf that I tied but I just didn't get to show it. So yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like in the morning. I was already really impressed with it. It felt really nice and soft to the touch. Um, yeah, I was really happy with basically how it felt. And I just wanted to like just wash it at this point and see what my hair looks and feels like. You can see I was doing a little dance here because I was happy. <laughs> I was definitely happy that it was, I was getting a bit of moisture. You know, moisture is everything. So I went ahead guys and I rinsed it off. And this is basically what my hair looks like. It looks so nice and shiny it's got volume um yeah i mean it just looks really really good and it felt a little bit uh drier than you know what i usually get when i do you know treatments to my hair um but it still felt soft but probably not as soft as you know what i usually get that was my immediate feel okay i just felt like it just didn't seem to moisturize my hair as much as you know what i normally get with my other treatments but having said that it was probably because i just came out of the shower um but after i let my hair sit for a little while it definitely got softer and really nice to to, to the touch in general it, it was just really good but the immediate feel just after coming out of the shower to me just felt like mm, is this dry is this moisturized i just wasn't quite sure but it was yeah it was definitely good it's one of those things that i will definitely do again and i would definitely consider introducing into my regimen because i really loved how much volume it gave my hair and also how soft my hair felt after i applied this and also let's not forget the shine like the shine was just amazing as well now like i said before i felt like my scalp just wasn't as clean as what i started off with especially in those areas that i applied the amulet powder to um so i don't know maybe it's just my imagination um but yeah i would see something that i would definitely do again and I'll suggest that you try it out guys as well. I mean, if you've not tried amla powder before, definitely give it a go. I think it's worth trying and perhaps incorporating into your regimen because I will. And yeah, this is pretty much it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, I'm so grateful. 
thank you so much like the video if you liked it and also subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video take care bye